The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has spotted things that might hint at alien activity way out there, possibly getting us closer to answering the big question, are we alone? Humans have always wondered about life on other planets, which has inspired tons of stories and ideas. We're obsessed with knowing if we're special and if there's anyone else out there, even really smart aliens. It feels like we're getting closer to finding some answers, but do we really want them? Or is there something else we're really searching for? Back in 2021, some people wondered if our telescopes would ever be good enough to see city lights on a planet like Proxima b, our neighbor orbiting Proxima Centauri, only 4.25 light years away. Some think Proxima b might be tidally locked, like our moon, with one side always facing its star. If that's true, maybe smart aliens there could be using solar panels to send energy from the sunny side to the dark side. A paper by Manus Fingham and others suggested that if Proxima B's sunny side was covered in solar panels, new telescopes might be able to see it. Now, in 2024, JWST is so good that it might actually be able to check for artificial light or signs of life on planets like Proxima B. This could be a huge step for us. But before we get too excited, let's remember how we got here. The James Webb Space Telescope is still looking into the mysteries around Proxima and Towery B. What's Proxima B anyway? Scientists have been studying this stuff for ages. We've always wanted to know about the universe, where we came from, and what's going to happen to us. These big questions have kept us curious since we first started thinking. With tech getting better all the time, are we any closer to figuring out these old puzzles? Some thinkers might say we're just babies when it comes to understanding everything, but space experts are excited to share the latest discoveries made with new tools. Even though most people might not know about it, these advances are huge for understanding the universe. As we keep looking out into space, we can now explore in ways that used to be impossible. JWST is one of the main ways we do this. This telescope was built on everything we've learned about space, and it's designed to answer important questions about our place in the cosmos. And it's already starting to find hints of life beyond our solar system, like possible alien-made lights on a planet far away. Proxima b is a big deal in the search for alien life. It's a rocky planet that orbits a red dwarf star. These planets are usually bigger than Earth, but smaller than gas giants, putting them in their own category. We don't know a lot about Proxima b yet, but finding it was a big step in figuring out our place in the universe. People started suggesting there might be planets outside our solar system around 1978, but nobody really paid attention. Then, in 1992, we found the first one for sure, which shocked scientists and got everyone interested. Since then, we've confirmed a lot more exoplanets, including a really important one in 2003. As of April 1st, 2024, we've confirmed 5,653 exoplanets in 4,161 systems, with 196 of them having multiple planets. These discoveries mostly involve red dwarf stars, which are common in the Milky Way but hard to see because they're not very bright. Red dwarfs are classified by their temperature and size. These stars are usually around 3,900 Kelvin, giving them unique features. Proxima b is thought to be about 1.07 times the mass of Earth and orbits its star in just 11.22 Earth days. That's way faster than our 365.25 day year, showing how powerful Proxima Centauri is, even though it only emits 0.16% of the sun's visible light and about 0.056% of its total energy. Most of its energy is infrared, and Proxima b orbits it at about 0.04856 astronomical units. The discovery of Proxima b was announced in 2016 and has created lots of excitement since it's the closest exoplanet to us, only about 4.2 light years away. That's far for us, but close in space terms. Proxima b is part of the Alpha Centauri system, which has three stars. Even though its star is dim, it's still a top target for observation. The Alpha Centauri system is one of the brightest star systems we can see from Earth. What's really interesting about Proxima b is that it might have life. It's in its star's Goldilocks zone, which means it could have the right conditions. 
That's why scientists are sending missions to check it out, and JWST is helping a lot. The telescope is trying to capture light from the first stars and galaxies after the Big Bang, study how galaxies are born and change, figure out how stars and planets form, and learn about how planetary systems and life begin. As JWST keeps studying planets like Proxima b, we're getting closer to making these goals a reality. Finding alien life, especially intelligent life, is a major goal in astronomy. Trying to pick up signals from aliens comes from our basic need to understand everything. It's like a space treasure hunt, but instead of gold, we're looking for electromagnetic signals, which could be messages from aliens we can't even imagine. As we keep searching for intelligent life, finding artificial light or something like that on planets like Proxima B could change everything. It would change how we see the universe and our place in it. Just thinking that we might not be alone could change how we see ourselves and what we think life on Earth is all about. If we ever confirm that there's intelligent life out there, it would be like landing on the moon for the first time. It would start a new age of space exploration, where we know we're not the only smart creatures in the universe. Can alien civilizations exist? Finding intelligent life isn't just about finding new species. It's about understanding our part in the big space story. It's about asking big questions. How did life start? Does it exist anywhere else? What's going to happen next? These exciting questions drive scientists, space researchers, and dreamers who are pushing the limits of what we know. In the end, the search for alien life isn't just about finding other beings. It's about finding out what it really means to be alive, tracing where life comes from, and seeing if it can survive and grow across the universe. Each new discovery, no matter how small, gets us closer to knowing our real place in the cosmos. With the James Webb Space Telescope leading the way, we're ready to make scientific breakthroughs that will change how future generations see the universe. As we continue our space adventure, learning more and more, let's remember that the journey itself is just as important as the destination. Every discovery and every new idea makes our understanding of the universe and our place in it better. The search for life beyond Earth isn't just about getting the answers. It's about enjoying the excitement of discovery and finding out what used to be a mystery. So, as we get closer to some amazing space discoveries, it's clear that we're not done learning yet. But how is this even possible? The James Webb Space Telescope is looking hard at Proxima b and another planet called Tauri b. Proxima b is a big deal. People have been studying it for years. We've always asked big questions. Where did we come from? Where are we going? Modern tech is helping, but are we actually closer to the answers? Maybe we're just scratching the surface. Astrophysicists are excited about the new stuff they're seeing, even if most people don't know about it. These findings are huge steps in understanding everything. We can now explore space in ways we never thought possible. JWST is a big part of this. It's designed to answer important questions about our place in the universe, and it's already finding clues about life outside our solar system, like maybe seeing artificial light on Proxima b. Proxima b is super interesting because it might have life. It's a rocky planet that goes around a red dwarf star. These planets are bigger than Earth, but smaller than gas giants. We don't know a lot about it yet, but finding it was a big deal. People started talking about exoplanets in the late 70s, but nobody paid much attention. In 1992, we finally found one for real, which shocked everyone. Since then, we've found thousands more, especially around red dwarf stars. Red dwarfs are small, dim stars. They're the most common type of star, but they're hard to see because they're so faint. Proxima b is about the same size as Earth and orbits its star in just 11 days. That's because it's really close. Proxima Centauri, the star, is much weaker than our sun. Proxima b is pretty close to it. When Proxima b was found in 2016, everyone got excited because it's the closest exoplanet to us, only 4.2 light years away. In space terms, that's practically next door. Proxima b is in the Alpha Centauri system, a system with three stars. Even though its parent star is dim, it's still a prime target for study. Alpha Centauri is one of the brightest star systems we can see. 
The coolest thing about Proxima b is that it might be able to support life. It's in the Goldilocks zone of its star, meaning it's not too hot and not too cold. That's why scientists are trying to figure out if it could be habitable. JWST is a key part of this. The telescope is trying to capture light from the first stars and galaxies, study how galaxies form, see how stars and planets are made, and look for life. As JWST studies planets like Proxima b, we're getting closer to achieving these things. Finding alien life, especially intelligent life, is a major goal in astronomy. We're trying to find signals from other civilizations, like a cosmic treasure hunt. If we find signs of technology on Proxima b, it would change everything. It would change how we see the universe and our place in it. Just the possibility that we're not alone could change how we see ourselves and our future on Earth. Finding intelligent life would be like landing on the moon, a new age of space exploration, where we know we're not the only smart beings out there. Can alien civilizations exist? The search isn't just about finding aliens. It's about understanding our story in the universe. It's about asking big questions. How did life start? Is there life elsewhere? What's next? These questions drive scientists and researchers to push the limits of what we know. Finding aliens isn't just about finding aliens. It's about understanding what life is, where it comes from, and if it can survive in space. Every small discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the universe. JWST is leading the way, and we're about to make some science discoveries that will change how people see the universe forever. As we explore the cosmos and learn more, we should remember that the journey is just as important as the destination. Every discovery makes our understanding of the universe richer. Looking for life beyond Earth isn't just about getting answers. It's about being amazed by what we find and figuring out the stuff we never thought we could. And as we get closer to some big discoveries, it's clear that there's always more to learn.